Right now, prosecutors are trying to reinstate the death penalty for a man convicted of raping and killing 11 year old Carly Brucia back in 2004. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane explains why the judge says he has to wait to make his new decision. Why should he live longer than she did? It's a question family and friends of Carly Bruscia have been asking for more than a decade. It, it's not right. It's, it's just not right. Joseph Smith is convicted of kidnapping, raping, and killing 11-year-old Carly in 2004. This surveillance video shows Smith approaching Carly, grabbing her arm, and leading her away. It was the last time she was seen alive. Her body was found days later in a wooded area. I just don't feel that he should be breathing longer than she is living. And neither did a jury. They sentenced Smith to death by a 10 to 2 vote. But a Supreme Court ruling overturned the sentence, deciding death sentences require a unanimous vote. But the Supreme Court is reconsidering that, which is why the state attorney's office has filed a motion to reinstate the death penalty for Joseph Smith. Certainly welcome any additional argument. But in a Sarasota courtroom today, Judge Charles Roberts says though he agrees with the original death penalty rule, he can't make a decision until the Supreme Court does. So I will reserve ruling pending the mandate of the Florida Supreme Court. But family and friends say they just want justice for Carly. Our system is failing our victims and they need to change our system. In Sarasota, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.